Aha, your dirty little chicken nuggets. It's me again, Jojo, to tell you a story about the time I got diabetes. So it started way back in 2009, my fifth grade year, spring break. I love swimming. I'm secretly a mermaid, okay? Swimming is my jam, ham, turkey, mayo, rye bread, okay? I've never eaten rye bread in my life. I don't know why I said that. I eat white bread. I love all bread, though. But my mom rented a hotel for us so that we could swim in the springtime because it was still too cold to swim because that's when Texas was, like, reasonable with its weather and, like, the temperatures. I, for some reason, drank those big sodas, which I never normally drink. And I was like chugging them like it was water and I hadn't had a drink for three days in the Sahara Desert, baby. I was thirsty. So I'm drinking, 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 but I just assumed it's because I was swimming and I was like doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? So we go to sleep that night and for some reason, I just, I just keep peeing. Like a lot. This is going to be hella like kind of TMI, but like I think it's kind of funny. So I just kept peeing. Like every 20 minutes I would pee. And at one point, because it was two beds in the same room, my mom slept in this bed and I slept in this bed with Lexi, who is my sister, basically. We have the same tattoo together. Hey, Egyptian goddess. So <laughs> I get up so many times throughout the night that at one point my mom like woke up from the depths of her sleep. She was in like the eighth realm of sleep. Heard me get off that quiet motel bed and said, Jordan, what are you doing? I was like, um, I got pee. She said, there is no way you are really peeing this much. Lay down in that bed and don't get up again. Now listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I respect my mom for saying this because I kept, I, I was peeing a lot, y'all. I'm talking like every, every few, like four or five times an hour. It's ridiculous. And the toilet, toilet bathrooms are loud, the flush is loud, the light's bright, like, I understand why she was angry. So the next day, we go to McDonald's, we checked out of the hotel or whatever, we go to McDonald's. <laughs> I got a double cheeseburger, french fries, and a Coke. I drank three large Cokes. If you know me, you know I don't drink a lot of liquids at all. I don't know why, I just don't. I've pushed myself to drink more and now I'd only really drink water and tea. I'm sitting there and I drink three large drinks of like, coke or something I don't know and my mom was like are you you gonna eat any of your food and I was like no I'm not hungry me like not hungry like something ain't right so my mom was like ah oh, hell no oh, oh. we're going to the doctor we get to the urgent place and my mom got me some orange juice from the vending machine and it hit Hard. It was so good and I, I still don't know why it was so good. I think it's because I was literally dying and I was like, this is my last meal. A bottle of orange juice, baby. So we're drinking the orange juice and they're like, Jordan. So I get up, we walk to the back and the guy was like, what's the problem? My mom was like, something ain't right with my baby. So this man looks me in my eyes and he picks up this cup. He said, hey, go pee in this cup, please. What? I was like, what? Boy, pee goes in the toilet. Or if you really have to, on the side of the road, on a road trip. I'm not peeing in no freaking cup. You got me messed up, homie. My mom was like, just go pee in that cup, Jordan. It's not gonna be that bad. So I was like, I right, man. Everybody against me. It's whatever. I don't know what I did to deserve this. So I go pee in this cup. I come back, sit down. I'm looking at him on the table and I'm like, He's like, how are you doing? I was like, I'm good, dude. I just, I'm just chilling. And I was just not feeling it. I was like, whatever. So a few minutes later, dude comes back and he was like, um, Jordan? I was like, I saw him. He said, uh, your blood sugar is, is like unreadable. It's so high. And I was like, my sugar, what? My blood got sugar in it? Like, this is not no Kool-Aid. You can't just whip it up in there. No, sir. He was like, yeah, all sugar has blood. All what? All blood has sugar, and yours has too much. And I was like, boy, it's because I'm sweet. What you mean? He says, <laughs> you need to go to the hospital. My mom was literally like, oh, my God. He was like, I think you have diabetes. My mom was like, oh, my God, my baby. And I was like, I got what? 
we go to the hospital and I'm trying to like get this orange juice y'all out of this cup holder and my mom literally yelled at me and was like leave the orange juice I was like oh uh, okay dang so we run in the hospital we walk up and they were like hello my mom was like I'm here for Jordan the people were like hi hello my mom was like hi um I'm here for Jordan and they were like oh she's not she's not here yet she's not checked in and I was like that's me, dude. They were like, oh, our, pa <laughs> our patients don't normally walk in. I was like, okay. So they put me in a room, and a doctor comes in and says, uh, you were, I really don't know how you're even alive. I was like, uh, excuse me? He was like, yeah. You should not be alive. He was like, one more day, 24 more hours. I'd have been six feet under the ground in a dirt bed. What you mean? A dirt bed, baby. So I was like, um, I was like, uh, okay. So they take me back, and these wonderful ladies were like, "We're gonna take some of your blood." And I was like, "Wow, this is weird." Okay. So they take like twenty thousand vials of my blood, but like I ain't no, I ain't no punk, man. I was like, I'm fine. They're like, if you need to sit down, you can, you can sit down and like wait it out. And I was like. Girl, what you mean? I'm a thug, pimp, OG, killer, okay? So I stood up, and I was like, oh, no. My head was like, woo, woo, woo. So I had to shit back down. And they were like, oh, my gosh. Put a wet washcloth on my head, and they made me go back to my room in a wheelchair. They was trying to drift me around the corner. Don't play with me right now. I'm dying. So then after that, they were like, girl, you got diabetes. I said, oh. I keep talking about my booty. I don't like that. The next thing you know, I was in a room learning how to give myself shots with needles and oranges. Oh, oh, I just remembered something. I'm scratching my ankle. Oh, yeah, that feel good. Yes, queen, yes. So they bring, they bring me this snack of peanut butter and jelly. And for some reason, up to this point in my life, I had never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So I was like, cool, I'm gonna love the American lifestyle to eat a PB&J. I bit into that sandwich and that peanut butter was so gross. I literally almost threw up and I, I, would, I refused to eat the snack. I was like, I'm not eating this. They were like, well, you have to eat something. And I was like, well, I ain't eating this garbage on a piece of wheat bread. What you mean? No. So then like, they low-key got lit with me and I was like, I am not, I almost threw up taking a bite of that PB&J. I was like, I'm not eating this. Get it out of here. I was a drama queen. So they brought me cheese and crackers and I was, I was happy. I, that's all I needed was some cheese, some queso and some crackers, okay? So after that, flash forward, I was in there for like a week and I just cried every night. Fast forward, I'm 19 now. I still have diabetes. It's stupid. It's gonna be all right. So I'll see you guys next. I'll see you little chicken nuggets with ranch next week for another video. I don't know what the video will be. We'll see what happens. I love you. <laughs> Bye.